welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial that I don't think I've done yet on my channel. This is a bold lip, bold eyeliner look. It's just really simple, very classic, and very pretty for the holidays since we're in the Thanksgiving Christmas time. Can't believe that. But yeah, so... But yeah, thank you Jordan for recommending this look. Um, he just gave me this idea. I was going to go for vampy lips, but I just figured since Christmas and Thanksgiving is around the corner, I figured why not. And so, yeah, I just think it came out really nice. It is all about the liner, all about the lashes, and all about the lips. That being said, I will just go ahead and get right into it. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful hair tutorial. Just kidding. I look so retarded here. But anyway, um, this is just a trick that I'm doing to help my curls last longer, so ignore my retardedness. Now, I'm going in with moisturizer. This is the Vino Daily um, Complexion Moisturizer, and I love this one. I think it's breaking me out, but I'm not too sure, so I'm going to hang on. Next, I am priming my face with Max Prep and Prime, and this stuff is really good, so I need to invest in getting a full size. And I'm just slapping on some lip balm because I do want to mattify my lips. Okay, for foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal W4 um, foundation, and this color is actually matching me pretty perfect right now. And this is a full coverage foundation, and then I just blend it in with a Beauty Blender sponge, which I need a new one, because it looks like crap. Alright, time to conceal those under eyes. I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Conceal. This stuff is so amazing. It's so full coverage. And I just also use this to highlight with since it's a really light shade. And then I'm also taking my Maybelline Fit Me and just putting it in my problematic areas, which I have a lot this time. Um, and then I'm just going to quickly blend out with my Beauty Blender sponge as well. Okay, then to set all of this concealer, I'm using my Cody Airspun and I'm just baking my face. Like, I literally put this underneath my eyes and everywhere I had concealer, but then I also... Oh, don't forget the smile lines. You know, I'm getting older, so that's where I also packed on powder. And then I go ahead and take my powder puff and just pack it on. I want to be matte today. And there you go. Okay, next to warm up the face, time to bring all the color back into my face. I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and I'm just applying this. I do go in with three contour shades. I know that's kind of extreme for some people, but that's just what I like to do. Um, the next shade that I am using is the Bahama Mama from The Balm, and this bronzer is really amazing. It's a very cool tone, so I think mixing the three shades just makes this look everything. And then after every contour, sorry I was talking to my sister here. Um, so after every application I do buff out, and then I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in the shade deep I believe and I'm just blending everything out. Alright so to highlight the face I'm taking my Becca Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop and just applying to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, um, in the center between my eyes, I don't know what that part is called, um, the cupid's bow and everywhere I wanted highlight. And lastly, for blush, I'm taking the NYX Cocoa. This is such a beautiful color. I am I can wear this all year long. It's such a beautiful shade. And yeah, I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks, blending it in. And now I'm going to set my face because we have applied like 5 billion powders. And this is the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Okay, I skipped my eyebrows. Let me know if you want an eyebrow tutorial so I can do that. But I take a long time, so um, I just set them with the Anastasia gel. And to prime my eyelids, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I did a boo-boo. 
Oops, I put too much. <laughs> um, yeah, so now um, the eyes are going to be super, super simple. Again, this is not about the eyes. So I'm applying Brulee from MAC. And then in the crease, I'm just popping some soft brown and just buffing it out. And that is it. That's it. Two shadows. Very, very simple. Today we're not about the eyeshadow. It's all about the liner and the lips. So this is what I did. Okay, next for eyeliner, I chose to put on this Avon Glimmer Stick Copper. I think it was in the shade Copper. And it's like a rose gold shade. And it just looked really pretty. It gave a little something to the eyes. For liquid eyeliner, I'm going to be going Super Bold. This is the NYC Liquid Liner. If you don't own it, I think it's like $2 and it is the best thing you're ever going to find. Um, so then I just apply this in a wing. And it is a super dramatic wing. So... Again, it's all about the eyeliner, all about the lips, so go crazy with this if you want. If not, don't. Alright, then I quickly pop on some mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play. I would have been using my Benefit, but I couldn't find it. And so yeah, I just apply to the top and lower lashes, getting them ready for false lashes. And the false lashes that I'm using today are the Double Ups. Yep, I always use these from Ardell. And then I just apply them to my eyes really quickly. Now for the inner corner of the eye, since the eyes were so plain, I popped in a little bit of the nylon from MAC and it just gave the eyes a little something extra. I really love this shade for highlighting. Okay, and then I just went ahead and covered Eni X's glue with my liquid liner to make it all nice and black. Okay, for lips, I took Sunset Siren from Wet n Wild and it's a glossy finish so I really wanted a matte shade and I was just testing out the lip color. And yeah, so I just mattified it with the Cody Airspun powder. I know that you can use a tissue, like you can kind of take a one ply, but I didn't have any tissues at hand. I was being lazy, so I just directly placed it on to my lips. I know, crazy. And don't ingest this stuff, please. Don't breathe it in. I almost died. I almost died making this video for you guys, okay? Okay? <laughs> okay, and that's it. So then I just put my Curly Sue curls down, and that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.